question number four deals with uh, turning point and differentiation so first of all we have we have a curve and the fx the function of the curve is given so what we have to do in question number a is find f prime x so fx is the function so first of all we have to write down fx where all the terms all the variables are upstairs so 16 by x has to be 16 x to the power minus 1 that is the first thing that we have to do before differentiating f prime x is the derivative so when we differentiate x squared the 2 would be here front and this would be x then we have plus so 16 is the co is the coefficient the constant it would be over here and x to the power minus 1 would be first we write the minus 1 then we write x and we reduce the power by 1 so this would be minus 2 and it turns out to be twice x uh, minus 16 by x squared so that is f prime x now the question number b is we have to find the turning point remember the minimum turning point is a and the rule is at the turning point or at the minimum point the gradient or f prime x is zero so we have to write at the minimum turning point dy by dx or f prime x equals to zero so f prime x equals to zero that means twice x minus 16 by x squared equals to zero so let's solve this so twice x equals to 16 by x squared if we cross multiply it would be x into x squared that would be x cubed and this would be 16 by 2 which would be 8 therefore x equals to cube root of 8 which is 2 they told us to find the coordinates of a we just found the x coordinate and there is the y coordinate so we have to write at x equals to 2 now we have to find the value of y y equals to fx so y equals to fx is x squared that means 2 squared plus 16 by 2 2 squared is 4 16 by 2 is 8 that turns out to be 12 we found the coordinate of a to be 2 and 12 now question number C deals with transformation as you remember the first transformation is fx plus a that means the entire picture would move one unit towards the left so if this is the original picture and you know the turning point the turning point is 212 then the entire picture would move one unit towards the left that means it would be over like this so this would be 2 would be 1 and this would be 12 and that's what we have to write we have to write down the value in terms uh, only of the turning point so the question number c1 is going to be we have to find the turning point and the turning point would be 1 and 12 because the entire picture had shifted towards the left next question number c2 is half of fx half of fx means stretching that means the x coordinate would be the same but the y coordinate would be multiplied by half so the x coordinate originally was 2 it would be 2 but the y coordinate would be multiplied by half that what happens so half into 12 is 6 question number 5 uh, deals with coordinate geometry line we have to find the equation of a line so we have this uh, coordinate uh, system and we have two points three points given pqr and we know the coordinates the first question is find an equation to the straight line passing through pq that means if this is pq we have to find the equation of this line passing through p and q and for that we need to use the rule where we know the point slope rule so if you have a line and you know the point through which the line passes x1 and y1 and you also know the slope or gradient of that particular line the equation of that line would be y minus y coordinate y minus y1 equals to gradient or slope x minus x1 this rule is known as the point slope rule so let's start the first thing that we have to do is we have to find the equation we let me use a brighter color we have to find the equation of that particular line pq so first of all gradient of pq so gradient of pq equals now remember the rule for gradient is change of y by change of x so for finding the gradient of pq we have to use this particular rule 
so this one is gradient so the rule that we'll be using is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 that's the rule for gradient of a line so what we have to do is change of y is going to be 7 minus 4 divided by change of x is going to be 4 minus minus 1 4 minus minus 1 and that turns out to be 7 minus 4 is 3 4 minus minus 1 is 5 so we know the gradient of the line PQ is 3 by 5 so now we can find the equation of that particular line using the point slope format of the uh, equation so y minus y1 let me take the first point we can take either one I'm taking the first point so y minus 4 equals to gradient is 3 by 5 x minus the x coordinate is minus 1 so x minus minus 1 is x plus 1 now one thing is important whether we have to write down the answer of the Cartesian equation of a line in a specific format and they have mentioned we have to give integer coefficient in the format of ax plus by plus c equal to 0 so let's multiply 5 by this the other side that way we will get the integer coefficient and this is trice x plus 1 so we get 5 into y minus 5 for the 20 equals to 3 into x plus 3 and we get uh, minus trice x plus 5y minus 23 equals to 0 if you multiply by minus it turns out to be trice x minus 5y plus 23 equal to 0 and that is the format they asked for question number b uh, the point r has coordinate p minus 3 so we have another point and p is a positive constant and it is given qpr is 90 degrees so what that basically means is that so this is QPR. QPR is this. This particular angle is 90 degree. That means the line uh, PR is perpendicular to the line PQ. So since in the previous question we already know what PQ is, in question number B we can write gradient of PQ equals to 3 by 5. So gradient of PR since it is perpendicular to PQ would be negative reciprocal minus 1 by 3 by 5 which turns out to be minus 5 by 3 remember the rule if two lines are perpendicular if this line and this line are perpendicular and this has a gradient of M1 and the other line is a gradient of M2 then one of the gradient is the negative reciprocal of the other gradient this is the rule for two lines that are perpendicular or normal as the term goes so we know the gradient of PR but we can also find the gradient using the rule for gradient y2 minus y1 so let's use that so gradient of PR would be change of y is minus 3 minus 4 minus 3 minus 4 divided by change of x would be P minus minus 1 is P plus 1 and this turns out to be minus 7 by p plus 1 now let me continue over here since we know that the gradient of PR is already minus 5 by 3 so we can equate the two equations so minus two expressions so minus 7 by p plus 1 equals to minus 5 by 3 so we can cancel of this minus with this minus and we can cross multiply 3 7 are 21 and this turns out to be 5 p plus 1 which is 21 equals to 5 p plus 5 which turns out to be 21 minus uh, 5 is going to be 16 equals to 5p therefore p equals to 16 by 5 